Growing up with a deep love for the stories and fairy tales that mom read to me every night, I always admired the beautiful dresses and adventurous tales of the characters in the books. It was during one sunny afternoon that my mother, noticing my fascination, brought home a lovely dress just for me. It was ivory with small red hearts all over, complete with frilly lace and a big red bow at the front. I remember looking at it, eyes wide with wonder, as she held it up and smiled, how about we try this on, sweetheart? Slipping into the dress, I felt like one of the storybook characters I adored. The soft fabric swished around my knees, and every time I twirled, the skirt danced like petals in the wind. Mom clapped her hands and cheered, look at mommy's little girly boy. Aren't you just adorable? Her words were warm, filled with an affection that made me giggle and spin even more. She placed a dainty choker around my neck and slipped lacy white socks and shiny red Mary Janes on my feet. As we played in our living room turned fairy tale land, I was no longer just a boy, I was a prince, a hero, a magician. Anything I wanted to be. Mom would sometimes join in, pretending to be a dragon I had to defeat or a fellow adventurer, and sometimes she just watched, her eyes soft and her laughter like music. I cherished those moments deeply. They taught me about love and acceptance, about the joy of being whoever I wanted to be without fear of judgment. Dressing up became our special thing, a magical time where all that mattered was the story we chose to create together. As I grew older, the collection of dresses and accessories in my wardrobe expanded, each piece a vivid story of my evolving identity and the unbreakable bond between my mother and me. Mom took it upon herself to curate a variety of outfits, each dress more beautiful than the last, adorned with bows and lace, each pair of heels a promise of new adventures in our magical world. She taught me how to apply makeup starting with a light brush of blush on my cheeks to bring a rosy glow, followed by the delicate application of mascara to accentuate my eyes. Makeup, she said, is like painting on a living canvas. It's an expression, not a mask. Under her gentle guidance, I learned to paint my nails too, choosing colors that matched my outfits, feeling a thrill of delight at the spectrum of possibilities, from vibrant reds to soft pastels. Each step into femininity was met with her encouraging smile and words that built me up. You're beautiful, she would say, and I felt beautiful, not just on the outside but deep within. She never pushed, but she always supported, understanding that this journey of self-discovery was mine to travel, with her as my steadfast companion. Embracing my identity as her little sissy girly boy became a source of joy for both of us. I relished the mornings we spent choosing my outfit for the day, the evenings spent learning a new hairstyle. It wasn't just about the clothes or the makeup. It was about the shared moments, the stories we created, the laughter and love that filled our home. I realized that in being true to myself, I was giving my mom the greatest joy. She once told me, seeing you embrace who you are, without fear, makes me the proudest mom in the world. And that pride, that unconditional acceptance, was the foundation of my confidence. Through her eyes, I learned to see myself as someone special and worthy of love, no matter how I chose to express it. I wasn't just her little girly boy. I was her brave, beautiful child, blossoming under her nurturing. My journey into femininity wasn't just about dressing up, it was about uncovering the depths of my identity and the endless strength of a mother's love.